Hi, Bug. How are you, Bug? You're so beautiful. Are you ready to start your morning? You're ready to go. Good morning. I'm all ready to start the day. And I was kind of cleaning up my desk, my work desk, and I came across this. And it reminded me that I have to finalize it. If you don't already know, in August I did a 30 day abstract black and white challenge where I posted a video every day, I painted every day, and I kept this little journal with my thoughts and my notes at the end of every daily session to kind of come back to and like the new ideas that I came across, anything that I liked or disliked, but I didn't finalize it in the heat of the daily grind. <laughs> or the daily works, I kind of fell off filling it out. Oh, I got to day 25, which is pretty good. What I want to do is really go back to the videos and rewatch each days that I'm missing and do a little summary of my main thoughts for that day. I might not do all the remaining days right now, but I'm gonna do a couple days because I think it's a really cool thing to have when you look for new ideas or when you want to like reinfuse your art process with a new creative vibe, you know what I mean? I'll start with that and then move on to the studio. Today I think I want to revisit a session of collage art. this because it actually makes a big difference you forget what you work on and what you do so many things to remember you know I want to show you the results of my varnishing from yesterday I used matte medium on this one to varnish to get rid of the shine or some of the shine and I didn't varnish this one yet you might not see this but there's less shine, it's less glossy than this with the matte medium and to my eye it doesn't look less black really. I'm realizing that you can't see it, take my word for it. <laughs> the matte medium works to get rid of some of the glossiness which I didn't want and it doesn't really leave any residue on top. So as long as you don't put a thick coat you're good and I'm going to varnish the other one and that'll be done. I'm glad about that. Now what shall we do today? This guy. I'm gonna finish this guy. Yesterday I asked you to guess what you thought it was gonna be. You might have guessed it. It's going to be a tree and more specifically a birch tree. I have a very strong attraction to birch tree lately. I've, I've been seeing them a lot and like feeling good emotions while looking at their bark. It's so distinctive. I put a thick texture of white for the tree bark here and I let it dry overnight. Now I'm going to add all the darker bits, but I, I thought of something crazy and it's so risky to do. It could be really cool or kind of tacky or like not working at all. So it's, it's risky, but I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do it. Why not, right? Let me show you what I'm going to do with it. If I can find it, I'll show you. There you go. Remember this? Chroma crackle. So, I'm going to use the crackling medium to put all the dark bits of the tree bark and it's going to dry to like a really scaly effect. It's not gonna look like tree bark, I don't think. Let me remind you of the scale effect. This is the finished scale effect. So I'm not expecting it to necessarily look like tree bark, but I want it to be interesting visually, like to have kind of like an abstract effect, a feeling where you can kind of see, oh, 
this is like a tree. We'll see what it looks like. So for the first time, I'm going to mix the crackle medium with some paint before I would just put it raw on top of a layer of paint. Now I'm actually gonna put some paint inside of it to give it a tint and apply it on the tree trunk and see what it looks like. I did the crackle medium. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I mixed it with different uh, shades of black, white, gray. Uh, on their website, they say that you should put only 5%. I, I think I put a lot more than 5%, especially for the light gray. I like put loads of white, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. If, it, if too much paint might prevent the material from cracking and making those scales, so I, I just don't know. Now I have a bunch left. And this stuff is expensive and it's so cool. I don't want to lose it. So I think I'm going to quickly throw it on a canvas, do something really quick without thinking too much. And then uh, I'll get back to you. This is the first one I did. I popped a little bit of yellow here. And this is the mixture of Crackle Medium. This is the Medium brand. You can buy it in a smaller tube. I bought a bunch of big tubs because I really like the effect. And I had this painting already started, but it wasn't finished. So I added a big blob in the center here. There was already Crackle Medium here around the edges whereas the middle was normal this is a wood panel so there's gonna be some crackling happening in the middle here and this is the birch tree that's the progress so this would be the top of the tree and this would be the bottom so the painting would be like this and i'm sorry i'm laying it flat because this has to be applied very thickly and if it's not flat, it would drip everywhere. So it kind of has to stay like this. So I went darker at the bottom and then I added more white to the mix for like a lighter gray at the top. This means that I don't know if it's going to actually crackle. Like I mentioned before, it's kind of an experiment. It's a big test and uh, it might just stay like that, which might be okay, we'll see when it dries, but I'm hoping for big scales. This stuff takes a while to dry, that's the problem. I wish I could have shown you the final, final product right now, but it's gonna take a few days to dry. After 24 hours, you see the scales forming, but they, it, it doesn't get its true color until maybe a full week. But I still have 
one more tiny surprise and I'm going to do it now. I put this painting flat somewhere to dry for a few days so that it doesn't get smudged or anything and everything dries nicely. We're gonna have to be patient before seeing the final final result. So far so good. Come back tomorrow we'll work on something else. I hope you're having a great week and I'm sending you lots of good inspiration. Look, look the crackling has started. It's very exciting.